Good morning. My name is Dennis. I work for the County Department of Weights and Measures, and we're going to do your annual pump test for the year. What we do is we test every single device at every single station. If you look at this device right here, it has three grades of gasoline. What we do is we test it at the full setting and then we test it at the very last setting to make sure that no matter what range that pump is pumping at, it's going to be accurate and within tolerance. One of our department goals we have for the year is for retail motor fuel meters with gas pumps 100% for the whole entire year. What that means is every single pump in the county of San Diego is tested every single year. All right, plus one and a half right there. It's close to zero, a tiny bit in the customer's favor. I try to get to at least two gas stations a day. That will obviously depend on the size of the station, how busy it is. Here we're right next to the freeway. So in the morning, you can get a lot of traffic in here and that's hard for the business because they're trying to sell to the consumer, bring up transactions as well as keep up with me and uh, activate the pumps pump. Station's accuracy for the pumps is plus or minus six cubic inches. So a little bit more than a shock glass, really. They're kept in pretty tight tolerance. This pump is within tolerance. It's actually given a tiny bit away. So this would be no problem at all. From here, we would simply open the dump tank and let the prover drain for 30 seconds. This Pipler prover is designed that after 30 seconds, it's going to be completely empty. For instances where it's greater than negative cubic inches, it's against the customer. The customer is receiving less product than what they're paying for. What we do is we issue a red tag to the device. If you see a red tag like this, that means it's been placed out of service because it failed tolerance. We put that on the front of the device. We also put a lead and wire seal preventing anyone from actually removing the pump handle off there. We issue notice of violation. They have to get the uh, violation fixed within 30 days. A licensed service agent has to come out and do the repairs. And they have to notify us so we can come back and verify the repairs are made. On our seal we have on all the pumps is an 800 number the public can call in case they didn't receive the gas that they believe they did. This grade of 87 octane at this pump would pass and I would be able to put a county seal on it. I'll go ahead and remove the county, old county seals and put on the new 2012 seals. I get asked all the time, how often are the pumps off? And I tell people that even if they were off, you most likely wouldn't know it unless you're filling up several hundred gallons. It's that tight of a tolerance. Well, I just finished testing the whole station, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my cones out so no one hits me and I'm gonna dump the fuel from these tanks right back into the ground so the uh, owner doesn't get upset that I take his gas. I'm a consumer like everybody else. I buy gas at gas stations. I buy produce at the grocery store. So I want to make sure I know that I'm getting what I'm paying for. And you know, gas prices are going up. And we can't do anything about those gas prices. So at least when you go to the pump, you may be spending more than you want to spend, but at least you know you have a little bit of peace of mind that you're getting what you're paying for.